With the second overall pick in the NFL draft, the Washington Commanders take Jaden Daniels. Not his name. The Not his name. Not his name. Future Hall of Famer Jaden Daniels, now a member of my Washington Commanders. Does Super Bowl, his, here we come. Does this plot go alongside future Hall of Famer Sam Howell? It does. Okay. It does. Although I've heard rumors <laughs> Howell may now go in as a Seahawks. Yeah, a Seahawks it doesn't yes. matter. Yes, Jaden Daniels there. is a future Hall of Famer. I'm on board. So, sure, <laughs> sure, maybe he took too many sacks in college and he's not particularly big and, as you said, maybe only an average arm. <laughs> Whatever. The fact of the matter is Jaden Daniels, like you just saw that, like, it, like 12,000 passing yards, 3,000 rushing yards in college, only FPS quarterback there. Uh, you know, he, he had 22 touchdowns on deep passes for LSU last year. Helps when you have, you know, Malik Neighbors. <laughs> Brian but, Thomas Jr. Yeah, that's that, okay. Too. We have to talk about but that. But whatever. Fact of the matter is, he's going to, here's the thing. He's going to a team with guys that can fly, right? Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson as well, and Cliff Kingsbury as his coach. It's a fantasy-friendly offense. Um, uh, remember, t- Kyler Murray under Cliff Kingsbury was quarterback five on a points per game basis from 2019 to 22, 2022 under Kingsbury, given the rushing ability and the fact that Sam Howell was a top 10 quarterback fantasy wise last year for a bad commander's team. I think Jaden Daniels will challenge Caleb Williams to be the number one quarterback in fantasy this year among rookies. Connor, statistically, what do you think he'll be in year one? Oh, it's a good one. I think he's going to run a lot, right? And he's going to run a lot to make up for, you know, he's a guy that likes to see it and throw it rather than throw with anticipation. And that's okay. We've seen young quarterbacks come into the league and be able to run themselves out of trouble. So I like the upside of the rushing. You could see him getting to 700 plus yards. What I wonder is the touchdown equity for him because he's not a big guy. He needs to learn how to protect his body. He took some big time hits in college. So when you get into the red area, do they go, hey, we're going to kind of spread the field out. We're going to lean on our running backs a little more, which they have plenty of talent back there. It's going to be interesting how they use him with that. But the mobility is off the charts. I like the release. He's a touch thrower, not a bazooka kind of arm. But with Cliff Kingsbury, that's a good fit. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own Fantasy Football Happy Hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.